welcome back everybody so today we're going to try the last of the beers in the brew dog 2021 winter mix pack this is double cake marshmallow and chocolate stout um seven percent abv stout with natural flavors this one is going to be interesting and this year i didn't well i shouldn't say I didn't look through all of them, but I knew there were two or three that I've had. Then all the rest of them I didn't. So this was the last one in there. I pulled it out this morning. I was like, hmm, I don't remember reading that one. Now, I just the other day did the Jet Black Heart Espresso, and I thought that espresso brought out a lot of that chocolate, a lot of that sweetness. They are calling this a pastry. So this could be interesting. Let's go ahead and get it open, get it into a glass. Uh, I believe this is from BrewDog USA. I believe all of them are. I know I haven't been saying it, and on some of the videos, I've been putting BrewDog as the title or BrewDog USA. So, um, pastry, stout, uh, we're probably talking lactose, in this case, marshmallow. Uh, cocoa nibs for the chocolate. I don't know what they're using. Um, it would kind of make sense to use cocoa nibs, but again, I don't know where are they putting the marshmallow in the mash, in the boil, secondary. I'm guessing the chocolate's going in secondary, but I could be wrong. So this has been sitting out, let's say 30, 40 minutes, so it should be good. Uh, chocolatey colored head, small medium bubbles, mostly small. Uh, about a finger and a half of head. Bubbles are compact like dish soap. Color, dark brown in color. It is not black. You guys are seeing it more black than I am. But even all through here and down around in here, um, dark amber hue. So, yeah, I would say it is not a traditional stout as far as the color. Now, does that matter to most people? No. I just don't want to see an IPA called a stout. Color is fine. Let's go ahead and smell. Ooh, like a toasted, sweet, chocolate marshmallow. I almost... I almost want to say more s'mores, like graham cracker, cinnamon, chocolate, marshmallow, roasted marshmallow. It has to be cinnamon. Unless it's just a very charred, sweet marshmallow. Um, it smells like a graham cracker. Like, you're not even really getting that roasted malt that you would traditionally get from uh, a bigger stout, 7% stout. Um, you're definitely getting that sweetness. I believe it's coming from the marshmallow. I don't believe they're putting vanilla in here. As far, I'm thinking it's more of a s'mores than anything. Double cake. Would you really put marshmallow in a cake? Hmm. I, yeah. From the smell, I would go more s'mores pastry stout. Like hot s'mores off the grill stout. Let's go ahead and try. They're cinnamon, cinnamon marshmallow. I'm trying to think, like, is it that burnt of a malt, like an ashy malt that's giving me, like, that cinnamon? I don't, there's no way. I mean, there could be. Cake, double cake, like in the middle when like that chocolate and that marshmallow mix, I could see 
kind of a cake batter. But again, there has to be cinnamon in there. I'm sticking with cinnamon. Like, and it's throughout the whole entire palate, even in the aftertaste, it feels like nutmeg cinnamon like it's coming on stronger and stronger body's a little low for seven percent hmm i do get darker roasted malts in the back like a little ashy roasted malt but that That, <coughs> excuse me, that marshmallow also keeps like building and it almost goes into a vanilla. I don't know what to rate this one. I would go four out of five. I think for a pastry stout, I want more sweetness and I don't want to taste that roasted malt. And I'm pretty sure it's the cinnamon. But in the back, there is bitterness of that roasted malt. So four out of five. Let's check on tap. See how far I'm off. None of my friends have checked us in. Almost 2,000 people. 3.88. So, pastry stout loaded with chocolate and vanilla. Chocolate smooth vanilla dark cookie. Hmm. So they're using vanilla to get the, um, oh, geez, I can't even think. Marshmallow in there? Why wouldn't they just use marshmallow? I guess I'm off unless somebody else says solid marshmallow notes. I think, yeah, I'm sticking with s'mores. Unless it's really burnt malt is giving that off. I like it how it is. I wish, like I said, it was it was sweeter and had more of that chocolate marshmallow coming out. But overall, good. So, yeah, I would definitely pick this one up if you're into stouts like this. If you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here. Until next time, happy brewing.